The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. Players Lounge! Players Lounge on April Fool's Day. What's happening? Welcome to the show. I'm Newey Scruggs. Yes, sir. Along with three gentlemen, and you know them. Danny McRae. Hello. Can big, you hear? big night tonight. Can you hear, baby? Big Ooh. night tonight. Big night tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, right. keep hanging out. Big night tonight. Ooh, that's Ain't gonna no be a good one. Ain't no Ebar enough. Yeah. That's going to be a good one. Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, I'm Heckma. Heckma Harrison. <laughs> Barry Church. What's happening? What's happening? Iowa about to do it one more time, baby. They Just like they did in South Carolina last year, they baby. They going to do it, too? They going to do what? Iowa. I would with that dud. Boy, have you seen Caitlin Clark? Have you seen Flo J? Boy, uh, who hey. won the night last year? Well, LSU did. Who LSU did. They did beat. Who they beat? Oh, oh okay. We're talking about again. We're talking about again. Oh man, it didn't happen. Again. Again. Do it. I can't wait, wait for tonight. It didn't happen. Yeah, the first I can't time. wait. You're right. This You're correct. You're correct. They, you they got South Carolina. I was at church house. As a matter of fact, we was watching LSU versus UCLA. Caitlin. <laughs> it's gonna be a bust down. It's, it's gonna be, hey, it's gonna be real. It's, it's gonna be a good game. But that's what we down. want, though. That's what we want. Good game, man. A good game. I haven't watched women's basketball like this I mean, been, in my entire life and oh. been excited to watch it. It's crazy. Juju out there in the USC. Yeah. I'm like, that's gonna be a good one. Her and Paige Buckers tonight. I mean, that's gonna be. Yeah, it's man. gonna be a good one. Yeah, yeah. I like it. The basket, basketball's been good. Can it I is. ask y'all a question though? And y'all watching the men's game? Do y'all feel like y'all watching bad basketball? It just it ain't it, exciting it, to me. It's I not. It's, I don't know. Okay, I, I just want to feel like I was the only one because I'm, I'm, I'm watching the Houston and Duke game. And I'm saying to myself, like, this is horrible. Guys can't hit open shots no more. The ball rotates like it just somebody take a shot. Mm. Here, Miss layups. It's crazy. I saw the LeBron hit nine three last night. Like, don't know that. No. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Some for the old heads. Some for the old heads. He got that Wakanda plan in him. <laughs> <laughs> the vibranium. Some for the old heads. I'll just say this. He the fruit out this. He ordered them vitamins off the TikTok shots. <laughs> I think a part of the issue. <laughs> them not legal. That <laughs> boy cooking. Last thing on the basketball. My, 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 my thought process, Heckman, what you're saying is in the women's game, what you're watching are more experienced players because they they spend three, four years That's together. Right. You're watching some of these men's teams, and, and particularly why Kentucky's had issues in Duke the, the last few years, in my opinion. You got people that don't stay there that long. Right. You know, you got guys who are here for a year, two years. If they're good, they're gone. Um, and when you start to see teams who are having a little bit of success, they, they play together a little bit longer. So I, I think that's part of the process. But uh, And, oh, by the way, um, what you're also watching is some, you know, you're watching Hall of Fame coaches. Yeah. Oh, Kim Mulkey, Hall of Fame coach mm-hmm. already. Um, Don Staley, Hall of Fame coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Shire, not that. Kelvin Sampson is, but once his boy got hurt, it, it, it That's was what, yeah, out. You yeah. saw yeah. the yeah. way the yeah. whole thing changed for Houston, man. They, they, their whole offense went down the drain mm-hmm. as soon as that guy was hurt. I, le- I left, man. I left. I left. I, I couldn't. I couldn't couldn't watch him. Huh? Like Earl Spence. Mm. You know, Kelvin Pembroke, man. I uh, hurt yeah. my guy. He's a trustee, too? His wife is. Okay. Wife right. When I, when well, I, I got, got off the board, his wife is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm in all of that. I, huh? could, I couldn't stand to watch Duke win. I, I didn't go yesterday because I was like, I can't watch them cut the next day. Well, you Come watch on. tonight. Man, y'all make sure y'all night. turn it on. It's going to be a good game. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin cut down the nets. Uh, they the first game? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. What's wrong yeah, with you, right man? You the one been talking about what, people been hating on Caitlin. They are. They what are. They, they, they are big you, time hating on. What they got to do with you hating on LSU though? I'm not hating on. I'm supporting Caitlin Clark. You, you already came yeah. out here with the misinformation talking about do it again. They lost yeah. last yeah. year. Do it again. <laughs> mean, do it again. Meaning beat beat a a, a, uh, uh, a top ranked team. They are the top ranked team. <laughs> they the number one seed. Who, I don't tell me. I win. It's all good. <laughs> LSU number three. <laughs> okay. What are you talking okay. about? <laughs> I'm just here for the kid. There it is. <laughs> I'm just here for the kid. Oh, you saw him watch the post. He don't know. That's why. That's why. Watch the post. Yeah. You know he's going to take a shot anyway. Watch the post. He don't had that one ready. No, no, no. They never on with recent no, posts, Joe. No, what? No, 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 no,
was evil. Yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> how about that cowboy? Yeah, how about, about that? Yeah, I ain't heard nothing about it. How about that cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard nothing. <laughs> Tell me something, dude. Hey, ain't got me on tape. <laughs> yeah, man. Jerry, Jerry laying in the cut. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry with that little kid. He over there with that little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, 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 what was that lions. Move? He just, you know, the lions in the jungle. Jerry just yeah, waiting. Over there, man. Uh, mm, mm, mm. So, <laughs> come on. Because I'm in the media mm-hmm. and do the TV thing, I understand when we ain't heard nothing from somebody for a minute. All of a sudden, they need to get something out here. It's a cowboy take. Mm. I had heard nothing from Jeremy Fowler, ESPN, in a minute. Now, next mm-hmm. thing you know, he on TV to buy sources telling. That uh, the Cowboys and Zeke have mutual interest in the reunion. Oh, come on. Oh, right Here we there. go. So, so, so now, what, what, what do we see? He's on all the platforms. Mm-hmm. He's everywhere. I'm like, oh. Um, so, when we asked for topics. The question was raised here. Who would you rather have as a veteran running back? Mm. Dalvin mm. Cook or Ezekiel Elliott? These mm. are the choices that you guys put. If, if, if those are the two choices, like, you know, this is what they're doing. To me, it's not even close. I mean, you, you got to go with Zeke on this one. I mean, we look at Dalvin Cook, and as great as a running back he was back in the day, his fall from, from grace has got to be studied. I mean, it was like one of them roller coaster rides on Six Flags. The man was up here, and then all of a sudden went to the – it just looked like a shell of himself. I mean, we've yeah. seen him over here in AT&T Stadium. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looked like, you know, Parsons, when he ripped the ball from him, looked like he was one of his little brothers playing in the backyard. I mean, it, it, it looked bad. So, to me – you know, as great as Dalvin Cook was, I think all his his <laughs> his things are past him now, and it's and it's, you got to go with Zeke on this one. That was that was yeah. Yeah. Hey man, what move we need to make? We got to go get Dalvin. Dal- I mean, yeah. he had changed the game. He, he's for James's us, brother man. now. James, that's, James, yeah. Come on, James' brother. That's, 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 that's I know his brother. Like. I know his brothers can still run the ball. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> we got hey, same we got front row. <laughs> Dalvin is the guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That one is the guy. So no. I can't wait to hear what you say. No, <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to lean into this and, and say that Zeke should have never left. That's actually. Right. And That's 642 yards last season for the Patriots. I think we could have used that. Okay, but look, he did it for another team. That's for another day. Um, but I just feel as though I, I'm with you on this, uh, Barry, when you talk about Dalvin Cook and the way that he was used when he went to Baltimore. Um, mm. it, it, again, looked like a guy that looked like a shell of, ins- of himself. But I asked the same question when I look going back to uh, the Cowboys offense last season. How important is this running game? We, we're talking about Derrick Henry in the offseason, a guy that we knew would have to get 25 carries to get going. I look at Zeke at, th- at this point in his career, he's just a plug in. He's just a guy that's going to come off the bench for you mm-hmm. to get you some extra reps. Where are we going with all of this? Because Rico Dowdle last year was 300, 300 yards mm-hmm. and two touchdowns, even though Zeke only had three. But I think I just go back to those games where you needed a red zone presence. A uh, battering ram, a guy that can get the job done. And, oh, by the way, with all of the offensive problems that we – offensive line substitutions that we're looking at, we do know that there is one running back that's out there can, that's for sure can protect your quarterback. So, yeah, he gets my vote. Yeah, listen, so what I've seen from, from Dalvin Cook is, okay, what you talked about from Minnesota, don't forget he had a stint that he went to New York, couldn't crack the yeah, line up there, then he went to Baltimore. Yeah. Okay, so that, that, that's, that's what I'm seeing. And that's how I always felt about Dalvin. Like, he's a good screen screen, uh, screen back. I never really saw him as a power back. And what we I think what we were missing was a goal line guy, uh, third and short, short yardage yep. guy. And then when you look at Zeke, I know he has 600 and some yards, but remember, he got there late. And he mm. wasn't the starter mm. and then ended up being the starter by the end of the end of the year. So he went in there in New England and, and made his presence known and was able to say, all right, like I'm the guy yeah. at this point. When you look at if Zeke comes back here to me, it's like that year where we went with Derrick McFadden as the uh yeah. it was it was a plug somebody in for that year until you figured out what we, what you were gonna do at that position. And I think we in that same position now. When you look at what we need to do in the draft, we're talking about going defense for a lot of these picks. Mm-hmm. So you need to plug and play some Somebody in at uh and, and running back. Why not bring a guy that you're familiar with? And oh, by the way, I do have a little experience with leaving to go to another team and realizing that the grass ain't green on the other side and being <laughs> like, lying, "Hey, brother. I'm ready to come on back, <laughs> ready to come on back in there." So, so the opportunity is there. If I'm looking at one of those guys, it'll be it'll be Ezekiel Elliott. Come on. Mm. 
Neither. Neither. Oh, no. <laughs> neither. No, I mean, I, if that was a, if that the was a, I would have said no. it too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the but fence. If you had the to fence. choose, if you had the to fence. choose, neither. Okay. If I choose in between now, you take the known quantity, but I go back into, and this is just my belief. No one has told me this or not, but my suspicion wasn't wanted here for a reason. Yeah, I can see that. And the head coach made a change at the running back coach with Skip Pete, and then the person he put in was his boy, Jeff Blasco. They're going to let a veteran guy like that go and say, well, we're going to give it to Tony Pollard. It blew up in their face. It did not work. You bring him back. Now what are you saying? Mm-hmm. You, you're having to admit you made a mistake. How many times do we see coaches do that in this league? We've seen it once already because yeah. Nolan got up out of here. So, I mean, he, you know, <laughs> he's not against it. I mean, it would be a tough thing to do. But what, what do you go – when you're looking at your running back room, I know that we, we're talking about the draft and we're going to come mm-hmm. and try to figure out who's there. But we're just talking about known quant – like known people in here who you know can pass block, can be your short short yardage guy. You already let the other big-time guys get out of here, mm-hmm. right? You got Dalvin – I mean, um, Derrick Henry's out. Um, Saquon Barkley didn't, didn't get a chance to get him. So, when you're just looking at, at guys who can really – come in and on that one-year deal, which everybody's on right now. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody. Everybody's everybody. on one-year deal. I mean, that's – I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to say. If, if there's an opportunity where Zeke says he wants to come back at a, at a team-friendly price and so does the Cowboys, then I I, I think it's hard for you to say nah. Can I, can I give you some names mm-hmm. currently that are, that are free agents in the running back game? Obviously, uh, uh, your guy, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, is, is available. Uh, LSU product, Boston Scott, uh, Damian Harris, Cam Akers, uh, J.K. Dobbins, Matt Breida, Kareem Hunt, Rashad Penny, Latavius Murray, Jarek McKinnon, Marlon Mack, Josh Kelly, Lynn Bowden, and in Eno Benjamin. So those are just a couple of names that are out there. And it's a lot of injured guys. Yeah, a lot of injured guys. <laughs> That's right. That's and of those, of those, of those, only two, maybe two that I would say would be mm-hmm. even worth the risk at this point. Now, I didn't know that neither was a category in this. I thought we were going to have to take yeah, one on that. Exactly. So, I mean, you, well. you said it up, right? Yeah, I just want you to know. Okay. All right, good deal. Taking neither. He took Zeke. Yeah. He had to get off of that Dalvin Cook trade that he was on last Ooh. year. And I know that was tough for you, bro, but I mean. So, so where I'm sitting at here uh-huh. in the land of play it out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. It is April 1st. The draft is April 25th. It starts the 25th, Mm -hmm. so Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday. Once we get through this draft, then to me it's going to be pretty clear of where and what type of running back you go get. If you draft a guy and he's more on the smaller side, in in, in a Pollard-type mode, then yeah, then you're going to need to look at getting a Zeke, somebody can pound it in. If you go get somebody, like they said, the Texas kid, the the injured running back, then okay, then you need to go ahead and get get some veterans – but if you get somebody who can maybe carry that load a little bit, do both, then I think it may change. I, I think it truly depends on where they go. I think based to me at this point in time, when we think talk about what the Cowboys are going to do, I think so much is going to get based off what happens in the draft, what they take, where they go. Then they'll okay. We need this kind of person here. We need to fill this hole, or we need to come back and get this way. That's to me kind of what I'm thinking. Well, of. How high is the the drafting of a running back? Priority wise to you guys right now because we already talked about defensively the D line linebackers. I mean, <laughs> would y'all would y'all put you know a running back in the needs low low? So you're thinking like bottom like five through seven rounds I mean, cause, maybe because because even if you don't get Zeke, I mean you're talking about injured guys. You still got a list of guys who you could plug and play for a year. Mm-hmm. And still cover up some of those warts that you've been having on defense for the last four or five years. Like yeah. I think I think the priority is defense. Like I, I'm, I'm torn on that because I, I saw the playoffs just like y'all did last year, and y'all saw the the running game start to take over. And I think NFL teams are, no matter what your philosophy is on running backs, mm-hmm. it's going to cost you at some point, and it's costing teams when they get to the playoffs when they can't manufacture time of possession, ball control, and. You could try and throw it all you want to, but you look at the upper echelon, the top teams in the league, like the 49ers, they're going to run that rock. Even the Chiefs, they're going to run that rock. And so you can – look, I I think we try and make more of it than we absolutely need to. I think that it is priority for the Cowboys because you – But I'm putting it up there with – 
Run with the D-line. I'm putting okay, okay, it up okay. there with everything Ooh. because you don't have a Tony Pollard. You do have a bunch of unproven commodities in the running back Well, room. then let me come back to you here. Is it day one, round one, Thursday? Is it day two, round two, three, Friday? Or is it Saturday, rounds four through seven for you? Where do you fit in? Look, I think that there are a bunch of really good running backs in that third, fourth round. So day two? Yeah, day so, two. So day two. I think I think day two. You take a guy that you know that can tote the rock, that can be one of those plug-and-play guys that can fit your system. Um, look, it's just – I think that we have <laughs> – we messed this whole situation up last season by going with Tony Pollard as the running back. We needed somebody else. And maybe thinking that Rico Dattle could carry the mantle or do the same thing that Zeke did was a mistake. Mm -hmm. You just need a guy, especially in the red zone, specifically you need a guy that can get the ball. And it, I mean, look, my, I'm going back to the Miami game. I did not want to do it. <laughs> I'm going back to the Miami game. One yard line, we could not get it done. Philly game. I mean, you're throwing it to your tight end. Your tight end is stuck at the one yard line. Come on, man. We got to get a running back that can blow it, blow that up and get into the okay. into the end zone. This, this, this is going to have some fun right here. We're going to have some fun. Take a break. Mm -hmm. When we come back, I want rounds one, two, three, because that's going to be Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, and Friday. So mm -hmm. round one, Thursday, rounds uh, two or three on Friday. I want you to give me your positional dreams. For rounds one, oh, two, man. and three. I want the dream. Oh, Give me your dream. It was all that. a dream. <laughs> they don't, you guys don't know that one. But I used to read Word Up magazine. Oh, yeah. Song yeah. Pepper, 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 they was hating on my vocals, all right? They was hating on the vocals, man. Uh, 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 R. Kelly? That was before. That was before, that was before all that. No, That's what he was I'm still. Just, it don't yeah. matter what it was. No matter what it was, man. You should, should see Lil Green or something. Man, it was a tough crowd. That's all right, it was a tough crowd. Was a tough man. notes to hear. Yeah, I thought I was like, I thought I was there, too. But we were so nervous. We was, well, every day, like, they going to call our name. They man, ran into the we'll end of We start throwing paper ball. Get him off the stage, <laughs> You, you sung I Believe I Could Fly. Yeah, around. man. And I thought I was, hey. I, <laughs> he put the arms. I went the arms up there. <laughs> he said praise dancing. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, all I said was, <laughs> get him off the screen. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> I ain't gonna forget this New York City. Yeah, I ain't gonna was, forget we this. We thought it was over too. They was like, nah, it ain't over. Y'all yeah, gotta, gotta come back gotta tomorrow. <laughs> then we killed the second one though. As nah, a group, we came together as a group. Nah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got it. Video. In. There's video, yeah, Chris. It was, it, was, it was real. It was I real. Got that video. Nah, yeah. ain't got that, 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 that was video, the Chris. Phone was really that. Yeah, ain't the camera got, phone. Ain't got me on tape. <laughs> Say they did. Oh, it's Players Lounge brought to you by Tostitos on DallasCowboys.com. I forgot I had the arms up too. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites in a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. Hi, I'm Danny McCray, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl, handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want to munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection. Featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. There is no I in Dallas. There is no I in heart either. No I in Blue Star or in Lone Star for that matter. And there's no I in how about them Cowboys? Smirnoff knows there's no I in football. Football is a we thing, an experience that is best enjoyed together. 
With good drinks and good folks home or away, we rally together, we cry together, and we always rally cry together because there's definitely no I in Cowboys fans. Smirnoff, we do game days. Please drink responsibly. Back to the Players' Lounge. Come out to the star in Frisco for Dallas Cowboys draft weekend presented by Miller Lite. The party starts on Thursday, April 25th at 630. Enjoy live draft coverage, player player appearances, live performances, and more on Friday. Come back for draft night out with alumni and DCC appearances at Miller Lighthouse. Then finish strong on Saturday with the Draft Day 5K presented by Baylor Scott and White Health. For more details, visit DallasCowboys.com slash draft. And the first 500 fans get a shot of Hopium. Yes. <laughs> the Hopium. The Hopium Express. The Hopium 2.0. Walking around with that Hopium. We got it. We got it. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to need a lot of Hopium this season. But just based mm-hmm. off what we've been, what we've gone from January until April, man, you going to, I'm mm-hmm. telling you. It's the rebuild, man. Just keep pouring it. It's, it's, keep Come on, on now. Somebody about a truck load. Come <laughs> on now. Come on now, Barry. <laughs> Don't that, that, Barry, the thick stop. Gregory. With the, <laughs> it was all a dream. <laughs> man, what? Play Sounds brought to you by Tostitos. That's Heckman Harrison, Mr. Showbiz. Uh, Barry Church is here. We got Danny McCray and Louis Scruggs. <laughs> sir. Man. Sir. Man, that was okay. rough. That was a rough one. No, you should have at least done the. The bad man shaft thing that R. Kelly did. That was a t- that's a rough yeah, one, man. That was that was tough. That was a rough one to go. It was with, a bad man. choice. He was, was thinking choice. about uh the space jam. Yeah, you know, I said, everybody, everybody knows this everybody jam. Knows I'm gonna be all right. Should have went with them off ones that people kinda didn't know the no, Kelly. No, no, you wanna try to get a song that everybody knows so they start singing along. And that's what I thought. It's the one. <laughs> I thought, all right, by the time I get to this little verse, everybody's gonna be with me and they're just gonna drown me out. I'm gonna walk off the stage. Man, it they was quiet as hell. They wasn't with them. They wasn't with you. And they was not letting me get off the stage. Man, you the know my body yeah, was no, no. <laughs> So our players' lounge audience has an understanding. As a rookie, you have to sing. So yeah. that's what these guys are talking about. Uh, having to sing as a rookie. Now, we want the video, Chris. We want that video. <laughs> got me on tape. I, so I'll say <laughs> this: not, not, you, know, you guys clearly don't have to do it again. But if you ever talk to anyone, I would tell have them go with a gospel song. You can't really boo gospel. Nah, that's, that's what Beast Mode did. Mel- melodies from Heaven or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody was with him yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart man. Smart, Smart man. Right, right you, right know? But, you can't boo the church. You can't boo the church. But true. his performance was really good though. Nah, he nah, didn't he, care. Yeah, he was. He just, was Josh nah. Bray, he can't, he did not care. He was like, I'm finna go out here and I'm finna perform. And he got the deep voice and he man, yeah, he, he did killed it. it. He did his name. I was yeah. hating too. I'm man. <laughs> <laughs> you singing popular songs. People looking at y'all. Oh, oh, yeah. You probably they want you to come with. But you sing the gospel song, you know, because then you can get your own version of the gospel. Man, all that he, he did his thing. <laughs> you know, I was hating, though. I was hating, too. Man, he ain't got to go again. I got, hey, man. Hey, Church needs hey, to learn how to read the room. <laughs> you got to read the room. <laughs> they was just all looking at me. They waiting on you, too. They man. laying in the cut, waiting on you. They waiting on the popcorn or whatever. 13 man. babies in the camp. Man, I'm looking at you. We went to San Antonio here with San Antonio. We made it all the way through San Antonio, and we really in our heads started thinking, like, oh, they ain't going to get to us. Oh, we straight. We good. <laughs> we only got two days left. <laughs> Coach Wade Phillips. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's do We got time for a couple rookies. Man, get on up there. Oh, man, I'm like, Wade, man, for real? All right. Oh, man. Okay. Shout out to Wade. He was yeah. cool, though. Uncle, Uncle Wade. Wade. Uncle Good Wade, old Uncle Wade. Wade. Take the pads off. San Antonio yeah. coach, man, in the UFL. Mm-hmm. Hey, there it is. That, that started down. last week, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. It started yesterday. Big yeah. time plays, too. There you go. Birmingham. Birmingham beat the uh, beat, beat Arlington here. So, Rock was out there, of course. Troy Aikman. So, okay. Round one. Everybody's ideal position pick. We're going rounds one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Where you want the Cowboys to go? I'll start first. There it is. Okay, I'll just start oh, off. That's first. a surprise. Look at yeah, him. He, he, he already on the fence. He already know. He already has. He gave good. us the philosophy last he week. He, he changed the we philosophy. He has a theory. I'm just, add, I'm just adding layers on Okay. It. Round one for me. It's defensive tackle for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Round one. Church. I'm with you. D tackle. We done lost Hankins. Mozzie, you know, last last year he was getting tossed out the club. We'll see if he, you know, can come back and be that first round pick that we all thought he could be last year. I mean, it, to me, you don't have any depth there. 
And you, you've got to get better because that's where this teams have been taking advantage of this defense, running straight up the gut. So to me, you got to go D line round one. I'm going offensive line. I'm going. I'm going at the center position specifically. Okay. I'm going to start there. Um, defensive line is one that you know I, we got to have it, but I think you can get it in, in later rounds unless one of the Texas defensive linemen are there. Then you got to pull the trigger okay. on that. So, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm going specifically uh, one or three technique. Okay, that's it. Uh, not even the entirety of the defensive line. I need D-tack. somebody one technique or three technique. Somebody who can hold point, keep the double team off the linebackers because that's what we expected yeah. to see out of Mazi. Mm-hmm. I don't need a pass rusher. I don't need none of that. I need somebody that's going to be able to hold point and not get pushed back into the linebackers' lap. So I'm going defensive line interior. Okay, okay. so round two, center. That's where I'm going. Uh, Tyler Biotish got $10 million from Washington. Good for him. Wouldn't have paid it. But, hey, that's what they do up there in Washington. Get in the center position. That's where I'm going. Church. Round two. Give me give me linebackers. Give me linebackers. Hey, round two. It, it don't even matter. <laughs> Mike, Sam, whatever you want to do, give me linebackers because we saw it. Clark from, from LSU, he got the size for it. Maybe he'll get a little bit better as he gets more reps. But Bell, you know, as great as he was on third downs, he was a liability, first and second down running back there. So, to me, you got to get some depth. LVE's gone up out of there, so you need some depth in there. I don't know what um, Overshawn's going to look like coming back from the yeah. ACL. So, to me, you got to address that second level. I agree with you, but I'm going defensive line in the second round. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where you can make your mark. If you, again, get a big big body in there, one that Zimmer, Zimmer approved, that's where you go to that one and three technique. I'm going offensive line in the uh, second round. Um, depending on center guard, we're trying to figure out what we're doing with Tyler Smith, but they know. So I, I think we need to sure up whatever spot is going to be open on that on that offensive line, possibly center. But I don't know. I think center is one of those positions where you could get away with yeah. a with a with a late with a later round guy. Yeah. I think that guard and that tackle is a position where you like, hey, if, if those aren't working, then you you're gonna have a big problem with your quarterback. Okay, round three for me, linebacker. Uh, Mike Zimmer's here. He's going to want bigger D tackles up front, so that's why I want to go round number one, uh, round two. Just sitting here getting a center because you got to control both, both uh, offensive and defensive lines. That's been an issue for the Cowboys in playoffs. Round three, I'm going linebacker because um, we know Zimmer likes bigger guys. That's somewhere the Cowboys haven't had. So I'm trying to give my defensive coordinator the things he needs there. So that's why I'm round three. What you got? You? I'm gonna go a little surprise here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go wide receiver mm-hmm. in, in, in round three. Um, one, you know, CeeDee Lamb's deal's not not done yet. And I don't know if he's going to come in here and want to play on a one-year deal. You lost Gallup. Um, Cook, Cook's, Cook's still under. He's still under contract, right? Yes. Cook, Cook's is still there. But, you know, sometimes he's getting the ball. Sometimes he's not. And a, a, as good as the young wide receiver, uh, number 18, he showed Tolbert. He showed, you know, he can take some steps forward in the right direction. I don't believe he's ready to have that full number two role. Like, I, I just I just don't see it, him being number two or number three. I think he benefited off of having, you know, a CeeDee Lamb, a, 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 um, my guy at the tight end. Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson at the tight end spot. Coach, so I think he benefited from that. I don't think he's ready to really take that role on. So to me, yeah, I could see them going wide receiver. I look this LSU wide receivers, y'all got uh, amazing. They ain't gonna be the dude. Yeah, the they ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna be the, no, 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 they not. They not. But but I'm telling you, boy, y'all got some. Oh man, they got some good stuff coming out. But and I love where you're going right there. But I'm gonna go running back. Okay. And I think running the running back room, you have to get something. And if you can get one of these quality running backs, a guy that probably has a first round grade on him, you could probably get that in the third round. Yeah, I think you only got one first round grade right now. What I'm looking at, uh, okay. the kid from Texas. Texas worthy. He, okay. He's coming out. Oh, that's the wide receiver or the running back? That's the running wide receiver. Back. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, not worthy. Um, I can't think of the guy. He's coming name. off that knee injury, right? The yes, was here. Yes, yeah, Brooks, yeah. yes, yes. Brooks. And our doctors did the. Jonathan the, Brooks. No, Jonathan they Brooks. They, yeah, they, Brooks. they did the surgery. So <laughs> that might, he might be a shoe in. He three, might, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going linebacker. Uh, going linebacker. I'm going linebacker. Um, we need to shore up the defense. I think that. Starting up front and then also getting somebody because Marquise Bell is he's an undersized he's player. Undersized they have to guy, figure out yeah. somewhere else to put him. But you got to sure up the, your front seven. You, you like you, you have to be able to get that done. And I think getting getting a, getting a linebacker who you can put in now, yeah, exactly, uh, is 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 key here. So just reviewing it, Danny, you've got offensive tackle in round. Uh, I mean, defensive tackle in round one, offensive line in round two. You got linebackers right there. So you kind of hit where I'm at, where we're about this this trying to fortify the offensive and defensive line mm-hmm. or you can say the front seven yeah, front defense seven. and then the offensive line there church you kind of what you went you went offensive line i mean defensive line then you went uh, linebacker, linebacker. Then you threw a 
a little curve in little their curve receiver. In there. Yeah, because I feel like you can get a I feel like you can get a running back later in the draft. I feel like you can do that. Okay. Um, offensive line, it, it's it's a, it's a struggle. So to me, it was back and <laughs> forth because you gotta got find a center. I think you're gonna have that that tackle if they move Tyler out there. But like you said, there's some holes in there. So yeah, that's that's gonna be a toss up for me. Heck, the offensive defensive lines in the first two rounds, you went you went running back there in round three. So yep. um, okay, there's mm, a lot is, of holes, man. Yeah, you're right. You're right, and, and you, you don't. You're not active in free agency. Exactly. Them, so, so it's like got, it's, it's, a lot, it's putting a lot of pressure on one draft, and then also these are going to be rookies coming in that you that you are going to be expecting to really get some serious play time and make and be impact players on your offense and defense, which is. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that's a toss up in any day. I mean, we see what happened with Mozzie. Some guys are, they're just a little slower in picking up the the, the, the change of the game, the pace of the game, that's what true. you have to do differently than you did in college. And if you get a bunch of guys like that who who are a year behind or aren't ready to be those type of players, then yeah, you in for a rough season. Are the dis the dissatisfaction with the free agency just the fact that they aren't making the early moves to get the prime players, mm -hmm. or do you believe that? as you approach the draft, that de more deals can be made or on draft night, more deals can be made. I feel like more deals can be made. I mean, I think we've seen them, you know, come, come, you know, draft night or even a little bit before. Yeah. But to me, you know, this comes down to, do, do they believe that, 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 that can be that, that force multiplier? Like he, he can take, you know, a couple guys here and there and make this team take that next leap by himself. Is, is that what the organization is is, is feeling? Because that's that's what it's kind of looking like to me. Like he's like, man, look, all our all our all our chickens are, are with Dak right now. Can he make what we have cook? Yeah. Or Dan, I, I don't know. That's a tough. That's tough. You. Well, I, I, listen, <laughs> no, the, the, the thing yes. the thing for me is, I, I would feel that way. I, I believe they feel that way if they believe they have a defense that is better than they had last year. If you yeah. believe that you can stop the run, <laughs> right, yeah. and get the ball back to your offense and slow the game down if your offense isn't clicking because you just you do still have Brandon Cook, C.D. Lamb, Jack, uh, Ferg, you, you like you still got some weapons there. Mm -hmm. You got a, a Tyler Smith who is still probably going to move out the left side. Wherever he's going to play, he's going to sure up that part of the mm -hmm. offensive so line. So you still have a lot of stuff on offense that you can work with, especially with Mike McCarthy being an offensive guy. The defense is where you have the issue yeah. at, right? Because yeah. then you lost interior defensive linemen. You got Trayvon Diggs coming off an of ACL injury. Like, you, your linebacker core, you don't know where that's going to be at because you got Overshawn coming back. And now you're dependent on the guy who is going to be in his first year, in a red shirt year. Yeah. You're going to be in his first year to shore up your uh, your linebacker. And all, all you've done right now is good. Perkins? Yeah. That's, exactly. that's all you've gotten so far. So mm -hmm. I think if you sure up your defense, you still give yourself a fighting chance. The, the great question that you asked about being a force multiplier mm -hmm. is when you look around the NFL, there's only three of those. Yeah. Period. That's that, true. that you can get away with putting a bunch of B side shorties out there. You got to, most of the time, you got to have playmakers on that's the end. And, and even when you look at this offense right now, you don't have a lot of quote unquote guys that are just. That you come into this game fearing who he is. Maybe one, maybe two. Mm -hmm. uh, that that you come in saying, I'm, I'm afraid of what this guy is going to do on Sunday. You need more playmakers, regardless. That's I mean, true. and this offense was struggling for that. And when teams started to double CeeDee Lamb, in, in the, we didn't have an answer uh, for that. So, I mean, look, you still are short. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, that's why you say go wide receiver. Hey, look, can I raise my hand on CeeDee? Because yeah. I know I know we we addressed it a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on with CeeDee Lamb and Dak. I don't, I don't yeah. think it was the double teams or nothing. In that last game where it just looked like they were just – the communication was off or early. something was going on early in the game. <laughs> I don't think it was anything the defense was doing to them. I think it was, it was, it was them. I don't know what it was, but it just seemed like they weren't clicking yeah. at the beginning of the game. But we had seen previous when CD Land went for 200, yeah, like on. they were doubling the guy. Yeah. <laughs> like teams were trying to figure out how to get that done, and they still couldn't do it. So I think that's why, that's why I still think that you got a lot so, of offensive firepower. So, Ken, let me ask you. I know, and I know it happened towards the end of the year, the like last uh -oh. eight or nine or ten games. But can can he kind of be like how Jordan Love was with Green Bay? He took up. We never heard of these wide receivers. You know, Watson. Dobbs, was it Dobbs, you know, the other guy. No one knew about, only person we knew on that office was, was Aaron Watson. Jones. We knew about Watson. Well, <laughs> yeah, we knew you knew about, about Watson. Yeah, he, about like last year. He, he wasn't like a household. Anthony Brown could take about Watson. There's a whole bunch of folks could take about Watson. Well, listen, let, yeah. Why y'all gonna do that, A.B.? <laughs> that man ain't called a straight for nothing. Yeah, yeah, listen. Shout out to Y'all about to start attacking yeah, everybody, like, no. He said, I got you about Watson. We saw it. 
We saw Watson in but person. The, the running game set all of that up. That's and, true. The running that game set true. all of that up, that and, and I think you were already short. And that's when we did not pay, we did not pay for that digs. <laughs> Him being injured because of how Deron Bland came in and played. And then it seemed like it got to a certain point where if there was a big play that was going to be made, it was made on Bland. You know, I mean, it was feast of famine towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. That, that's why having Trayvon, having him back and having him back healthy is imperative. That's true. And, and listen, uh, for what we said about Dak being a force multiplier, okay, Dak has played with some guys who you didn't know their name and still got them. That's to, true. Like Noah Brown, Cedric Wilson. These are guys where that's you true. like, I oh, Ooh, and that Dak made that's sure that those true. guys got out there. And made, it was times we was like, oh, Noah Brown, why he get the ball? That's true. I was talking about <laughs> right? Dalton Schultz. I'm like, man, Dalton Schultz. Yeah, that's Dalton true. That's true. So Dak, Dak has that's been true. around some guys where you're like, we don't know who these people are. That's he's true. made them better and gotten them paid. So he's been a force multiplier at times throughout his career, specifically last year and the year before. That's true. <laughs> that's about. true. Let the league touchdown pass last year. He did. He Se- bowed out. Second in MVP. He bowed out. last year. So I don't, I don't necessarily see him as the problem. Someone has to tell me what happened in this game uh, as the whole – it seemed like the pressure in the moment got to – you talk about C.D. Lamb and that. That's, that's the moment. Mm-hmm. They, they weren't ready to meet the moment. And mm-hmm. it wasn't just them. It was the whole – the coaching whole staff, the whole thing. Yeah. What's going on here that, that, you know, for three straight years, the final game of the year, you're looking at it, you're like, who are these guys? Yeah. I don't recognize this team. I don't recognize some of the efforts that I'm seeing out here. So it's got to get solved. Let's get our final break in here. We'll close the show. Um, I didn't say a running back in rounds no. one, two, or three for a reason. Got a thought on that. We'll see if it'll pass mustard with you guys. We swayed you. <laughs> Players that are you by Tostitos right here on Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> He's been swayed. Yeah, right. He's been swayed. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection featuring hoodies, crews, t shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. Hi, I'm Danny McCray, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl, handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want a munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at Get Jack Black dot com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip that's get jackblack.com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip i'm dak prescott quarterback of the dallas cowboys and they snap at the prescott who looks right it's not there he escapes left he'll run for a first down just like football when it comes to crypto it's important to have a team you can trust with blockchain.com i know i'm in good hands since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Back to the Players' Lounge. The 2024 Dallas Cowboys Star Magazine Draft Guide has in-depth scouting reports on the top college players with more than 400 prospects. Plus, there are breakdowns of the Cowboy needs at each position. A look back at 10 years ago to the team's dramatic draft, the annual first-round mock draft, and more. Get your copy of the 2024 draft guide at your local pro shop or dallascowboys.com slash star. Ooh-wee! He is. Heck, my hair is on fire today. Fire! Fire! Mm. Fire! Mm. 
Uh, don't worry, don't worry, because we're, <laughs> 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 we're not messing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not messing up. Put money in the bank, bro. Yeah. Put money in the bank. Yeah. 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 Book on make, tape, right? There. <laughs> make, make those deposits. Mm-hmm. Make those deposits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I laugh, because I know as soon as I stuff, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> like, the reason why they recognize it as soon as you do so good is because they wait for you to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, pay it on your downfall, <laughs> man. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, man. Hate Thank to see you, it. I appreciate the honesty, though. Oh, you man. know it's coming. Uh, hey, man, boy, can't speak. Boy, can't talk. <laughs> you can't read. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Showbiz. What's Bad happening? Church is What's here. happening? Got Danny McCray. Go talk. Louis Scruggs. Uh, all right, so uh, we talked about rounds one, two, three. Where to go? Uh, there was only one of us who went running back. That was you, Heck. You went yeah. third round running back here. Reason I didn't say running back in rounds one, two, or three. The Cowboys have been pretty decent here in the fourth round. Go back here. You look at Marion Barber, Pro mm-hmm. Bowler, Tony Pollard, Pro Bowler, mm-hmm. Tashar Choice, very good running back. All guys who they took in the fourth round of the draft. And I know some people aren't going to want to hear this, especially they'll remember him fumbling. But I'll say this. I think they might try to get something out of Hunter Lipke. Wait, wait, what you mean? Like something like what, yo, yeah, what, what you yards? Mean, like, uh, <laughs> are you talking about yards? Hey, you made us wait. The over under the, I, Hey, hold I, on, I, man. I, I, That's I your big reveal. It. That was your well, <laughs> I, my reveal is that the fourth round is where I think they go for the running back. Okay. So That's my big reveal. And I'm just telling you, I think they may try to find a bigger role for Hunter Lipke when it comes to the running back. Like spot. a John Coon when he was when he was with Green Bay. John Coon, Kyle Juszczyk. I just think they're they I I can see Mike McCarthy trying to say, hey, look, I think we can get a little bit more out of this dude. So I'm just Ooh, that, why right? didn't do that last year because they started off with that because he with the cool with the John Coon stuff they yeah. started off with we we see a role for it like that and you know it and, and it and it we were looking for guys to be the the goal line <laughs> running back they started using him as a lead <laughs> blocker and they started lighting his world up. Um, it's not the same <laughs> so, so, so we, we, we get him lift <laughs> Everybody got jokes. Everybody, it's kings of comedy up in here. <laughs> just, we, not, we didn't think he was going with coming back from the break. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that. I know that. I, Okay, so what do we know right now? We don't know what they're doing, right? So we got to come up with some stuff. I'm just thinking, okay, he in the lab and he looking at Hunter Lipke. We so, started off with some stuff, okay? And that, and that was hey, so hey, you can get him. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, get him, man. Just trying to tell you, man. You know? Hey, he came back. His helmet was hurt to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Missing a cleat. Hey, man. Come on. Come on. Sit next to me. Come on. Sit next to me, Lip. Right here, man. Come on, man. Son, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> Where are man, you? Man had a, the man's rookie season is nothing. We're going to sit up here and hang our hat on. Oh, but I just, when I sit up here and I look at what they're doing, Way to go, that's the next thing. Hey, hey man. Yeah, he okay. was hyped that, that way. That, okay. that, 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 I, that's the way to come out the break right there. I'll tell you right now, I, I've been laughed at on this show before. I remember people laughing at me when I said Trayvon well, Diggs was going to get a second contract. Oh, I've yeah, been yeah, laughed yeah. at before here, okay? Oh, the Hunter Lipke package. I'm just trying to tell you. Line I one. can see them trying to, at this point in time, at this point in time, with the running back room being very desolate, I could see them saying, we're going to try and give this guy a little more role. Okay, before you leave, though, tell us this. So if you think that that's a possibility, what do you think about that? Do you think that's a good idea? Or do you think that that's foolish? At this point in time, mm-hmm. you got to tell me what else you're adding. And that, that to me, is where the draft comes in in free agency. Mm-hmm. It does the room, does, does the, if, if he's one of the four dudes in the room, then okay, I can live with that. But if we're looking at him right now, it's just him and him and old boy, two dudes, don't look good. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I just can see, and once again, we start to look, look at the head coach. And what the head coach has done. The head coach through the years has enjoyed and liked to use a fullback. Right now in this league, you got Shanahan who uses a fullback. Mm-hmm. McCarthy's enjoy using the fullback. Um, so just just look at that. And that's why I would go back to Derrick Henry. I'm like, guys, Derrick Henry doesn't fit here because the head coach ain't going to run a guy like yeah. that. So we do have to look at the what the head coach does there. Um, Peyton is another guy who, who likes to use some, some, some off running backs. So – is it going to be that way? No, but right now, right now. Vicky, Vicky back. Six, Six carries, 19 yards, one touchdown. 
in 2023. That was the season. Huh? That was the season. Yeah, man. Lip Rookie. package. Oh, yeah. Lip package. package. Get him. The package coming, baby. Get him, Lip. He wouldn't be the first guy around here that you felt had a rough rookie year that in year two improved. It sounds like oh, hope No, it's, you yeah, went out on the limb. Sounds and like that's gonna like be, hope. No, you know, <laughs> that you went out on the limb, and that's going to be a tremendous jump. Yeah. Jalen Tolbert. Major, you the major distributor of, of the Jalen Tolbert last year. Thank you. You Jay found out who it is. You got you found out who it is. This is the plug. This is the plug. This is the plug. Look, you're going to get some carries. This is the plug. You're going to get some carries. You're going to get some carries. People going on fantasy grabbing Lipke out here. I don't know, man. I didn't say all that. The jersey sales that went up because of new. I'm going to see 40 in the pros. I'll be taking Christian Watson. I'll be on Christian Watson. Hey, 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 hey. Lipke got there. This, lit is, up. <laughs> this is why you come to the players now. This is this type of entertainment. Hey, Lipke up the go. Oh! <laughs> but they determined the show. Right. Mike got jokes. You know how they be like, hey, we ain't going to replay that again. <laughs> Oh, God. No, okay, when he running through the end zone, yeah. talk about I believe I can fly. I went through the end right yeah. there. Hey, uh, listen, you know, you know who's really good for calling folks out when they when they have a bad play? Troy Aikman will call oh, you yeah, out and ask you to put oh, the man. camera on you and be like, yeah, he just went up in the hole right here, and I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, his cleats. <laughs> Gotta get that pad get level some. down. Get <laughs> I never seen that guy get his shoulder pads knocked off. <laughs> It came a little sick. <laughs> nah, shout out to Lucky, man. Get him strapped up. <laughs> if he get a shot, I hope he does well. Yeah. Hope he does well. Lipke, we're, just playing, we're just playing Lipke. We're just uh, playing. Uh, what up in there if he won't? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. White tees? Hunter, if you or any of your family members are listening to this, call Anthony. You can call Anthony Brown and other people who've been dogged hey, on the show before. Be like, Troy go black. I just, I just don't understand. You know, 40 right here. I don't know. I don't know what Mike McCarthy is. Like the hole's over here. You know? <laughs> Punt you team man. ready. You the man. You got to stay out there. On Punt team You're the, man, the only one not running Let off. Come on, that was good. Ooh, you came out of the way. Danny McCray. Heck, my Harrison. Yeah, Mary you're a stretch player. <laughs> New stretch stretch. Happy to bring you this entertainment today, <laughs> gentlemen. Oh, Ooh, man. Okay. <sighs> Shout out to Lipke, man. Later. Oh, man. Wait, oh, he man. can't Ooh. wait for six months from now. Lipke going to score oh. a touchdown. Oh. You ain't gonna, oh. we ain't, hey, we ain't going to hear the end of it from New. <laughs> This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?